Tiana, you were involved in implementing a PILA pilot study in Brazil and Engin obviously outlining a lot of issues and challenges there. What are the big challenges you saw? Okay, so I will bring some uh, challenges before having those, uh, those tools. So the first one that I would like to mention is infrastructure. So here in Brazil, we can mention that in some regions, schools may lack the necessary infrastructure such as the reliable internet connectivity. So Brazil is a very large country, and I know that reflects some other country as well. So then a second challenge would be uh, teachers may, may face some uh, challenges in acquiring the necessary skills to integrate those digital tools into their uh, teaching methods. So I would say that uh, for some educators, uh, more traditional ones, we can say that um, they may be resistant to adopt uh, some digital technologies, uh, viewing them as a distraction and not, not as an intelligent learning ad. Then we can come uh, to budget. So acquiring and maintaining those digital tools can be uh, expensive for some regions. And uh, the last one, uh, I think that those digital tools uh, need to be uh, currently uh, culturally and linguistic uh, sensitive to incorporate different educational contexts. So they, they have to be adopted for different regions in the world so, so that the students feel uh, in the digital world as they feel and they live in the, in the real world, let's say. So I would mention those as challenges.